Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take beautiful pictures using stuff that you have in your closet as a backdrop. So if you wanna see how I accomplish this, keep on watching. Yes! So guys, I wanna give you like a very easy way uh, that you can take the best photograph for your, for your candles. And let me just show you here. So today's video is gonna be all about tips for the perfect shot, okay guys? So let's go outside or let's go to different um, settings so I can show you how can you take advantage of uh, whatever light you have available and how can you make the best uh, of your, you know, of your equipment, okay guys? And this is gonna be very inexpensive. All you need is your cell phone. I think the cell phone is the best tool that we have. Uh, I own two cameras and they're collecting dust because I don't, know how to figure out um, all the different buttons and you know I'm too old to be dealing with uh, f-stops and whatever okay guys so let me just get uh, the place ready and I'll be right back okay guys so before you start taking pictures of your products uh, it's better to think about uh, what kind of what concept do you have in mind what do you want to uh, show the public as your client and uh, what kind of feeling you want to project okay uh, for example like for you guys I like to uh, Prep my shots uh, to be very simple, very clean looking, and very uh, just to the point. Okay, so let me just show you one uh, concept that I have that I'm about to show you because I'm I'm about to make a uh, I'm gonna I'm about to make a video on doing a uh, different wooden uh, wooden wig test. Okay, guys, so let me show you. Okay, so this is the concept that I have. So let, I'm gonna change the the lens so I can show you. Uh, what I've done and you can see the way and what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so this is the uh, a test that I'm gonna be conducting tomorrow, the day after. I just wanna show you how I set up everything, you know, everything is on the, uh, the key to the best, to a great picture, guys, is the composition, you know. Uh, as you can see, I go from from tallest to, to smallest in here. So I try to keep a flow, you know, as I go and I just try to make it very nice and neat. You know, and I use the background, it's gonna be like the wall, my wall, so the, the blue wall, so it's very plain, so nothing is really like um, stealing from the shot, okay? So this is what I'm trying to say. Try to keep the focus on the product, on the candle, and nothing else, okay? If you wanna prop something, just a prop, uh, use uh, the background as a prop. But I think uh, the best thing you can do is like less is more, because you're trying to sell uh, your product, okay? Okay, so other ways that you can change, uh, do what we call it an edit. No, and it is when you try to uh, just play, play with the uh, the shapes, play the, uh, play with the containers. Uh, what do you want to uh, be the focus point in here? Uh, well, I just want to be. Uh, let's say now all I want to just focus uh, is on on the vessel. Okay, so just take the the oils out. Just take the oils out and then just change this. Just put them like closer together if you want to. You know the common. The common, uh, the common uh, denominator in here is four. One, two, three, four. They are four containers. I add this in here. This make it number five. Uh, and it's good to make groupings of uh, using odd numbers. Uh, in this time, in this, in this, in this instance, it's five. Uh, I don't like to do pairs. I like to do either three or five. Okay, or you can, if you want to use this, the four in the back, then you just take one of these in here and then just put a three in here, you see, and then you just, just make sure you have some kind of odd uh, number in the picture so that meal, uh, that will flow better, okay? Okay, another way that you can uh, change this composition is, okay, so you don't want to show the, uh, the vessels as the main focus, so then you just put the, the fragrance oils and then again just keep it at three so you see so you, you can all, all so you have four in the back you have four in the back but you have three in the front so you have three in the front okay you have three wooden, wooden wigs and three different uh, containers in the front, like plastic. Uh, so, and also to keep it uh, the symmetry, 
it's good then in this case, you wanna put the, the tallest one in the middle and the two shortest one on the side, okay? It doesn't matter uh, the wigs in here, they, they can be like this, they can be like that, they can be like this, you know, just the more, the more less perfect it looks, the more, the, the more uh, less arranged that it looks, the more natural it looks, the better for the eye, you know? So that's another thing to take, in, to take into consideration, you know? Nothing in nature is perfect, you know, like you, you, this eye is not the same as this one. So yeah. the, the hair is not the same on this side, the hairline. So that's the way the eye looks at things, you know, about uh, how do nature uh, create things. Okay, so I hope you get this lesson, guys. Um, now let's talk about the background. And for that, I wanna take you upstairs. Uh, in case that like, you, you're looking for a background and you say, oh my God, what am I gonna need? I'm gonna need a background. I don't have anything that I could use. I'm not a, pro a professional photographer. So let's go upstairs and I'll give you a few tips, okay? Yes! Okay, so I'm gonna take you to my closet. And let's see what I have over there that I can use as a backdrop. Um, because darling, you can find things when on the places that you least expect it. And you ladies out there, I'm pretty sure you have a beautiful uh, closet full of a uh, different kind of dresses or uh, nice color combinations. So let's see. Okay, for me, I like uh, the feeling of uh, luxury. I, I like something plush and soft, you know, that's what you want to, that's what I want to reflect my candles to be. Okay, for example, okay, now the winter is coming. I have this beautiful robe in here, look. And it's nice and long. So I can use this as a backdrop, okay? So let me just put this aside because we're gonna try, we're gonna play and see what works best with our product. You see guys, you can find backdrops everywhere. Okay, I have another bathroom in here. Look how beautiful this is. If you wanna do like a very masculine, uh, or very, uh, I don't know, uh, very mysterious and very sexy shot. I think this color is very nice. You know, look how it reflects the light. So, okay, so this is an, another prop. So we call these props. No backdrops because they're gonna be backdrops later on. Okay. So I'm telling you guys, bathrobes are the best thing that you can have. Okay, I have this beautiful black satin robe. Look how beautiful the material looks. This also will make a beautiful backdrop. So let's take this one with us. So, so far we have different combinations. You see, I'm just trying to get options on different uh, textures. Okay, this is kind of busy. But if you have like a, a fun candle or something like you want to uh, show, I think this is fun. So let's take this one too. I mean, it's all it's all on the improvisation. Okay, so I have four now. Let's keep looking because one thing may not work and the other one. So you just keep. Okay, so what else we have in here? Okay, I don't have anything else that I could use. Okay, on clothing in here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I have any sweaters that I like to use. You know, I could use this sweater if I wanted to. I could have this sweater too. You know, the color is very interesting. So let's take this one too. Again, we're shooting a candle. You don't need a lot of uh, a big uh, piece of material. Just use what you have and you work with that, you know? Okay, let's see what else we have in here. So I have this green sweater here. You know, um, why not? Let's work with what we have, guys. Money is tight. Now it's, not, now it's not the time to be going buying fancy backdrops. You know, I'm here guys. I'm here guys to help you out. You know, I want everyone to be successful in this venture, so why not? You know, 
another uh, option that you have, guys, you know, like for me, men's shirt, whatever it is, you know, you can have this nice shirt and, you know, look how beautiful the print. So you can just use the back, uh, the back of the shirt as, as a backdrop. So you know what? Let's try this. I want to give you ideas, you know, I just want to put the, I just want to put the light, I just want to switch your light bulb on. So you say, oh my God, you know, that makes a lot of sense. Yes. Okay, and just keep looking at your, at your shirts, you know, and just look at a print that you like, you know. This is a nice print for, that's for the summer. These are more summer. Okay, guys, so I think we have enough to start with. You know, if, oh my God, look how beautiful this, this shirt. This is like a blue velvet. Oh, good. this is gonna be a beautiful backdrop. Look how beautiful. Look at the way it shines when the light hits it. Definitely this one. Okay. Okay, guys, so we have a lot of choices in here. Now let's go back downstairs and I'm gonna take you guys outside because there's nothing better than natural light, okay? So let's go outside and start playing with these props, okay? Okay guys, welcome back. So we are in my patio here. Uh, I wanna make use of the uh, natural light to take my pictures. I think it's the best light that you could uh, ever have because it gives you, it's more diffuse and you can get more detail out of anything you're shooting. So let me just show you how I'm starting to prep for the for the photo shoot. So this is my, this is the clothing that I took out from the closet in here. So I'm gonna start prepping. I have a table here, let me show you. So this is my patio table and I just put a, a, a white towel because I don't wanna dirty any of the stuff that I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna get also some, uh, let me just bring you guys down a little bit. So I'm gonna use this to prep the, the different candles. So we have different levels, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the, whatever clothing I have in here, I'm just gonna put on top and I'm gonna create my own um, tri-level uh, backdrop, okay? So let me just get a few candles and I'll be right back. So we have the perfect lighting, guys. I'm gonna start small and I'm gonna start building up from, from the top. So I'm gonna use this box in here. I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna pick, let's say, uh, I'm gonna start with a piece of cloth that I have, that I love. Okay guys, so I have in here this piece of cloth. It's like a tablecloth that I bought in New York City. Uh, but look how beautiful the design and look how uh, exotic it looks. It, it gives a very luxurious vibe, you know, and that's, this is the kind of vibe that I wanna give my candles. So let's start with this one. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make it straight. I'm just gonna show you how I play with the, how I play with this. Let me just see if I can bring you lower. Okay, so I just wanna put you like at, at the level that you can see. And this is the, so you can see the table here, the round table. And this is the piece of material. So I'm just gonna go and just, Drape it a little bit, but don't drape it all the way. So you have space in here to play with, you know, like just make it very like, uh, very casual. And then just show because of it's a velvet. So it, you see the way it hits the light and that's the best thing uh, for you to have because we are in the outdoor light it gives reflect from all the sides. Okay, so it's not perfect, the better. Okay, so let me just take one candle and let me show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna take this candle here. This is the one, one of the first candles that I made. Uh, it's very luxurious looking. I bought this at the uh, Home Goods. Uh, so let me just start playing with this, you know, and just put it on here. Or put it in here. You know, and then I'm just gonna take a few pictures and I'm gonna show you. Keep changing the angle. Let me show you. And this is all done with my iPhone. I think it's the best camera, guys. If you wanna change the height, 
Here, another box. I'm putting it in here. And then again, you can just prop the, the candle there. And then just play with this. Play with the material and just get the effect that you want. You know, if you want to light the candle, let me just go, get, go ahead and light it. So you see, just play, play with the angle. Play here, maybe you... So it has different heights. Just make it look play, uh, playful. And remember, you're gonna be uh, cropping all this. So let me, took, let me just take another picture and you'll see. So another thing that I want you guys to be aware of. So now the sun, the sun is coming up. So we're gonna have to change the, uh, you want to avoid this kind of light. You want to avoid direct light like this because then it's gonna give you, uh, it's gonna be too harsh and it's going to give you the wrong lighting for this. So I'm gonna have to find another box to make different levels. Um, but in, first let me just find a new location and we are back. So I'm gonna just put it in here like this. I'm gonna take away this it down in here um, because I have these two things in here that I can just bring up like this. And this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, to create a very nice surface in here that is not perfect because you want to give the illusion of a luxury. So I'm gonna take another candle, beautiful candle, and I'm just gonna put it in here. Let me get you closer. So let me just turn uh, turn you guys around. So now we can start playing with this. Okay, so we play with the background here. Let me get uh, the lighter so I can light it up. Okay, so I'm using my hands. So I only have one hand now because I'm using the other one to hold the phone. Okay, so I'm gonna light the candle, guys. So I'm gonna have to position it. This is the way the shot is gonna go, guys. As you can see, it's very, um, very cozy, very warm. It's like this material brings it like a very sensual experience. So I'm gonna take a few pictures from here now. And don't worry about the lighting, guys, because we're gonna fix this uh, on the iPhone app, okay? So let me just take a few pictures. Okay guys, so what I did is I put a, a box under here. So it's gonna give it more height. So you can see the candle better. You know, and again, don't worry about what's around it. Just it's the candle itself that you want to see, you see? and you're able to give it height and even if you see the pockets on the sides you know it, it's no big deal it's fine it's some kind of a interest also so look how beautiful that looks i mean the pictures the pictures that i'm going to show you are going to be amazing so just i'm going to leave it here and i'm going to take a few pictures and i'll bring her back Okay guys, so I did a beautiful photo shoot. I'm gonna place the, uh, the pictures right here so you can see them. And so all you need guys, get very close to the candle because you wanna sell your candle, you don't wanna sell anything else, okay? So that's what people want to see when you put this uh, on your website, you know, and right now I don't have any labels. Uh, so I just wanna show you just a plain candle, how uh, how much impact you could get just with the candle itself when you use good, uh, good photography, okay? So let me just go back and change the angle and let me get something to prop, it, to prop it up and I'll take more pictures. Okay, this time I'm gonna take the blue one, guys. And again, I'm gonna take away the, I'm gonna take out this. And I'm just using a plain white box. Okay, so again, guys, just take it and just Put it on top of the, the two props that I have in here and just, just play with it, you know? Don't worry if, if, if anything shows, you know, that's gonna give you, that's gonna give you uh, interest. You know, people are gonna be, oh, wow. 
As a matter of fact, it's gonna, it's gonna make it feel even more comfy because it feels more like homey. Okay, so let me see what kind of candle I'm gonna use for this one. I think I'm gonna use a transparent candle that I have in here. This is a candle that I'm curing. So I, ha I haven't even burned it up, so I'm, I'm just gonna take a picture of this. So let's see what kind of, uh, what can we do to add more interest in here? I think we could add more uh, different textures by bringing up the fabric to give you more uh, texture to the background. Again, I'm gonna take the, the white box and just put it, so I can play with the height, give it more interest. Put it to the side like this, so it creates like a wedge in here coming. You see that there are many ways that you can just play with the, uh, the material to make the, the shot look more interesting. You know, it's, it's better like this than just putting a straight, a plain curtain like that. I think this gives it more a uh, luxurious, luxury looking. The way the light is reflecting through the ruffling of the material. Uh, so let's take a, a few shots. Okay guys, so I took several pictures of this uh, prop in here. The, I lit up the candle and it looks so luxurious and so beautiful. I'm gonna place the pictures right around here so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, again, this is just a plain robe and it cannot get easier as that again because the beautiful natural sunlight, which is diffused because it's cloudy, it gives me the perfect lighting for this beautiful candle, okay? And look, it doesn't even have a label, but it looks beautiful. And also the secret to these guys is on the composition of the, of the shot. Try not to do as much, like putting this in the center, try playing, putting it like a little bit on the sides, you know? So that will give the eye like more interest when, when it looks to the different uh, angles of the candle. Okay, so let me just uh, put this back, let up, let this. And let me just try another one of the robes, the black one, okay? I'll be right back. Actually, just let me just show you how I put this back. So to show you how easy it is to change. You know, it's anyone can do this, guys. Don't get don't be like feel uh don't feel like you cannot do this because you're not a professional photographer. Guys, on these times that we need to make money and we have to put out the best product that we can. We have to learn to be everything, okay? We have to, we have to, we have to learn how to be graphic designers. We have to learn how to be photographers. We have to learn how to do social media. You know, it's all, <coughs> it's, it's all within you. Don't let anything stop you. You can do anything you want. I mean, look at me. I'm gonna be 60 in February, and I'm very happy. I'm learning, and that's why. I'm trying to help you out, guys, because I know it's tough out there. Okay. You know what? I, I feel like doing something playful, so let's let's just have fun with this one, okay? Very colorful. I got this in Aruba, guys, just for fun. Okay, so let's place this in here. So which which side do, you, do we like best? I think I like this one better, this one here. So for this, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the, the golden candle again because it goes with the golden theme. Okay. Again, we don't have that much material, but I think we have it just enough what we need. So just fix it up like this. And this, you know, try to show this in here. Just try to hang it up the best you can. So I can raise it up. So it'll give you more interest. Look how beautiful this looks. Okay, and again, I'm gonna put the, the logo on the front. I'm gonna light it up.
one word of caution, of caution, be careful because this material could be very flammable. So just be careful when you're doing these guys, okay? Now I'm gonna hurry up, I'm gonna take a few pictures and I'm gonna show them to you. Okay, so let me just, let's go to the next one. Again, let me just put the candle up. This beautiful background, guys, is gonna sell the candle in no time. Perfect, let me just get the hanger and just, look at the beautiful colors, beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna use the black one. I'm not gonna use this one. I'm, I'm gonna use colorful, uh, colorful uh, backgrounds. So I'm gonna use this one for last. So I can show you how to use this beautiful, like for the spring, looks nice. So let's see how I'm gonna hang this the background. And let's see if this fits. Put the slips on this. And believe me, this will work. You think it's not, it's not gonna work, but it will work. Look how beautiful the material. Just the play white candle, and just put it in here. And show you how beautiful. It's, re it's reflecting the colors from the, from the shirt in the glass. So I'm gonna light the candle up. Again guys, you have to be very careful when you're doing this, okay? No kids, no pets around. Be very conscientious about the candle in here, okay? So let me just take a few pictures and I'll be right back. Okay, so let me just put the candle, extinguish the candle, put it away, and you see how easy it is, just plain shirt. It's one, two, three, very easy. It's things like this, that, guys, that you don't think about, but um, you know, it's like, it's right there in front of you. You know, the shirt doesn't have that much material. Okay, now the last one that I'm gonna do for you guys is gonna be this one here, the, the velvet. Uh, the cat just went all over. Let's see how I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna leave the hanger on. Let's see if I can bring this lower. Lower. Okay. Now, let's see whether or not it's gonna be enough material. So we'll have to play with this more. Okay, so let's put the candle. And I'm gonna use the golden candle. Beautiful. Light it up. Okay, and let's, take, let's start taking pictures. Okay, so let me get... So let me just put, extinguish the candle. And we're done. We're done shooting, guys. So you see how easy it is, guys. It's not, uh, it's not rocket science. You know, let me just bring you guys in more. Right, so this is all the stuff that we use for today's backdrops. As you can see, it all came from my closet. 
Uh, we didn't use the sweaters or the or the black robe. I think uh, we had enough uh, that I could show you. And uh, yes, guys, so like I tell you, uh, try to use the natural light to your advantage. Look at how beautiful my, my face looks uh, with the natural light. Uh, anyway, guys, okay, so I hope this video helped you guys in how to take uh, great pictures uh, for your candles. Another idea that I have to show you guys, I'm gonna take a few natural pictures. So I'm gonna go through my garden and I'm gonna place the candles within the plants so you can see also another option that you have to take beautiful pictures, okay? So let me just uh, find the perfect spot and I'll be right back. Okay, so let me just take this candle, the first one here. I'm not gonna light it up, I'm just gonna place it like this. And you just look for a, a spot that has, again, that doesn't have direct light. So you can place this. Uh, I have this beautiful spot in here in the garden. Yeah, okay, so you just try to place it, play play with the uh, the placement, uh, find a spot that you see color or that will go with the with the theme you wanna bring. You know, look how beautiful this plant. Just try to place it like that in an angle. And just take a few pictures. You know, again, this is the composition, like this, you see? Perfect shot. Let me just take a picture. Here's this. And again, I use the filter to make the colors more richer. So let's look for another spot that we think may, go may look good. Again, the fall is coming, so there's not that much color in here. But I see in here this, this planter. So let me see if I can find a spot that I can put this in. Uh, let's see in here. But in here, we have direct sun. So let's see. What can we do in here? I don't think it's gonna work out because we have too much light. Again, it's all in the lighting. We want the softer. Oh, look at this one. Look at how beautiful spot. Look how beautiful that is. Again, just work with the soil, and the plant. Look at the perfect shot right there. Wow, let me just take a few pictures. Okay, so I took a few pictures on nature, so you get the idea what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, so now, for real, I'm gonna go uh, get all this stuff put together, and I'll see you back on the studio, okay? Yeah. Uh, hi, guys, welcome back. So I'm just gonna wrap uh, the video in here. So today what we did was uh, we shot two different candles. We shot this one here, the Starbucks coffee cup candle, and we, and we shot this one here, the, the clear uh, transparent candle. So I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is for you to find items that you already have in your closet, um, material that you have uh, from other uh, things that you uh, don't even use, you know? Uh, for example, you can use like an apron, like I did for, for let, me just, let me just show it to you. So you know guys, just find material that you, that you have around, laying around, you know? This is a regular apron that I have to do hair. Uh, but look at the texture, look at the, uh, it looks like satin, so this, Using as a background for this, look at how beautiful it looks. You know, I mean, it's so easy, okay? And just use natural light, you know? Or if you need, just use artificial light. But you look at the contrast. What you want to have is, guys, is contrast. You might, you want to sell the candle. So when you put a picture of this, what goes into your eyes, uh, the first thing that go, your eyes goes into is the candle because it's the contrast is there. If you put it against a pale background like this, it gets lost. So this is a perfect example, you know, when you use different um, colors on your background. The same, this goes with every any kind of uh, product that you want to use. You know, if you have like melts, you can just put the melt in here. So it will have, like, again, contrast, you know, that's what you're looking for. You know, you can just take a picture of the candle right in here and you have the, the red background in there. And look how interesting it looks compared to the background that is pale. So look at the difference between this and this, it gets lost. So you're looking for contrast, guys. Remember, okay? This is what this is what's gonna sell you candles. 
Okay, guys, so I hope this video helps you guys. And I hope, uh, send me comments. Uh, how do you like the video? Uh, is there something that I, I missed that I should uh, address? So put it in the comments below, guys. And again, I want to thank you all my subscribers. And please, if you haven't subscribed, do so now. I'm looking forward for uh, much more videos. And guys, until the next video, take care. Bye.